So Vinam, first of all, thanks a lot for again helping me out with this video. So guys, I'm saying again because we recorded this video last week and due to some technical issues, I wasn't able to upload that video. And today Vinam again, like he's helping me to do shoot the same video. So thanks a lot for that Vinam. Thank you so much Sahil for having me in this video. It's my pleasure and I'm re really looking forward to it. So guys, today's video is about Halifax. So I was getting a lot of questions from you guys. Uh, about how exactly is the life in Halifax or to be direct like how what's the reality of this city is it really good to live here so I thought like why not invite Vinam because he is currently a student at SMU and right now he has just got his new job in a big company so he's working he's also now a working professional so he moved here as a student and then transitioned into a working professional I moved here in the city as a working professional so I thought it will be better if we can have two different perspectives in the one same video. So Vinod, uh, let's start with one thing that most of us, we don't know much about Halifax. We know about Toronto, we know about Montreal, we know about Vancouver, like these major cities, right? But we don't know much about Halifax. So before moving here to Canada, before even starting your research, did you know about this city and how did you come to know about like, okay, there's a city called Halifax that exists in Canada. So uh, thank you so much for asking me this question. Uh, to be honest, I did not know much about this city. Mm -hmm. uh, my initial goal was to go into either Toronto, as Sahil said, Montreal or Vancouver. But uh, Toronto or, and Montreal had a very severe climate in winter. So I thought maybe try Vancouver. But then I realized the cost of living is pretty high in the city. So I did a research, uh, kind of a preliminary research, and then zeroed upon Halifax because of its uh, affordable cost of living. Secondly, the opportunities it gives us as a student and then uh, the prospective university which would align with my career aspirations. So Vinamar, as a student, uh, how hard was it to find your find, find your accommodation? Because when we come from India, so most of the students are concerned, okay, if the city is small, the first step is like getting into a good university or college, right? So that we have already discussed that this city has plenty of things to offer. Second step, is to find a good accommodation. So for you as a student, how hard was it? I think, uh, thank you so much Sahil for asking me this question. So initially, essentially I would start with, initially it was a challenge, uh, like I had to figure out different set of places and then, uh, you know, work out arrangements. So initially what we did uh, as student were we, you know, took a temporary accommodation at Airbnbs and then slowly when the, you know, the Canada follows the leasing system, housing leasing system. So then we slowly moved to a, to a better place, which was near to my university. So essentially, uh, just a pro tip is just uh, try to get accommodation near the university because transport here sometimes is a challenge, especially in the winters. Okay. And, and is it very expensive to live here? Because I moved from Montreal and to be very honest, I was expecting that the city is a bit you know, less populated. It's a smaller city as compared to a bigger city such as Montreal. So I was expecting the expenses to be pretty less as compared to the city, but the some of the expenses are almost the same. But in terms of housing, I found this city to be a bit exp on bit on expensive side as compared to Montreal. So what are you, what's your opinion? Like how much uh, one bedroom or two, apart two bedroom apartment can cost here? I think uh, very rightly said Sahil. So the cost of living here is relatively higher because of the taxes. So uh, roughly, I would say a, a ballpark figure would be thousand to twelve hundred dollars for a one BHK decent accommodation, and then for two BHK, it will be twelve hundred to fifteen hundred should be the the price. And these prices vary according to the location. So if you are lo uh, living near downtown, then one bedroom can cost you around fifteen hundred dollars. And as you start moving uh, away from the core area downtown, then the uh, then you'll see the drastic decrease in the in the cost, right? And, and remember one more thing, since this city is not that popular as compared to other bigger cities, so students or the working professional or whoever is the immigrants they are moving here, they have one big doubt and that's the availability of different services or resources like it can be the malls, it can be the food outlets or it can be some of the daily necessity things, right? So what's your experience with that? Did you find this city good to live here? I think uh, uh, for that, I would like to thank all my friends and peers because initially it was a challenge to, you know, go to public places and malls because of the COVID restrictions. But as slowly, slowly the weather changed because I came here in, in the time of harsh winters and then the summers came, things become really pleasant and, you know, there were a lot of outing and outdoor spaces were there and malls were there and eating joints, especially the, uh, the Asian food was, uh, is, is really good here. So I'll tell my audience that, uh, 
if we compare the city Halifax with the bigger cities, then definitely the services are very less. But you will find each and everything here. Let's let's talk about the uh, daily need thing. So you have all the similar stores like Dollarama or the Canadian Tire or all other stores. I mean, in Toronto or in Montreal, there might be 10, 15 stores and here you will have find just one or two stores, but they are available so you can go anytime and get those. And even the Indian uh, Indian stores, they are now, uh, they have started flourishing here in Halifax. So you'll find the Indian groceries, Indian restaurants, I mean, at every corner these days, right? And one major point that I would like to bring forward is the Indian community. From past few years, I have, I mean, I have my friends who are living here from last 10 years and they have told me that the Indian community has started growing here. And one best part of this thing is, uh, if we talk about the other bigger cities, so you'll find people who moved here like 70 years ago, 50 years ago, right? So there's a bit of, you know, difference in the mindset. But here in Halifax, the most of the community is from our age group. So I don't think so. Like, I think I take it as a positive point that uh, there's no hate factor or something. There's not much difference in the mindset. Let, let me ask you one more thing. So whenever we come from India, we have one major concern that we might face some racism or, or something like that, right? Did you ever face this or how did you find this? Is it friendly or what's your experience? Uh, let's be honest. Uh, you know, sometimes we have those apprehensions and inhibitions. So I would encourage uh, students or the prospective students to shed their inhibitions and go ahead and interact with the community because in in Nova Scotia or Halifax per se the the you know the motivation is to move as a community so we as a whole uh, are a very strong community be it Indian community or the other respective Asian community so over the years what I have seen uh, like even from my transition from a student to a professional is that the Indian community has been mushrooming here so we have a very well connected people-to-people uh, -people connection right and it's not only about the Indian community the community together like ir irrespective of what our background is I think there, there's a good blend of people like everyone is very welcoming they are very soft-spoken and till this point I haven't found anyone like you know on the streets even people greet you so there's no nothing like racism or something like that right yeah well very rightly said whereas uh, when i hear stories of my friends who are in bigger cities like toronto and vancouver they sometimes do find it a challenge however here till date i haven't found a challenge and i would thank that to my community and my friends and peers and and remember if we talk about some of the uh, big advantages of living in this city if you have to list one or two what would be those I think the biggest advantage here is uh, affordability uh, in term if we comparatively to bigger cities like Toronto Montreal and then the second reason is the weathers in summers summers here are really beautiful especially the landscapes here but I think th I would like to add one more point even the winters they are not as harsh as compared to the Toronto or Montreal because there you'll find the winters uh, for like four or five months and even the snowfall it remains there but here i have what i have seen that it it snows for one or two days very heavily and on third and fourth day it started raining and the snow melts melts down so it somehow uh, moderates the the snowfall here so i think one that's uh, also a positive point but for me that i have found uh, the best point here in halifax is the city is very peaceful you know it has all the amenities maybe at the lower scale but at the same time, the city is very peaceful. Life is a bit slow. If if a working professional can find somehow find a remote job, and they are looking for a good city to move, I think then Halifax is a great choice. <laughs> and and remember, if we talk about some of the disadvantages, right? So we know like every city has their advantages and disadvantages, and there might be some that you there might be some things that you don't like like about the city. So is there anything? So yeah, uh, very rightly said Sahil. So uh, apparently the one big pain point is the higher uh, amount of taxes. So as a student, uh, I used to feel the pain of, you know, paying higher taxes as compared to my friends who are in different cities. And secondly, uh, the transport system, although it is well laid out, but it's, it's in a very small perimeter. So many a times we need car to travel to distant locations. Uh, thirdly, I would like to speak about the housing. Although affordability is a factor, but ha housing uh, vacancy rate is uh, pretty less here in the downtown areas, if I specifically talk about. So people who are studying in universities have to go uh, some far far off and then find an accommodation. So yeah, these are the challenges. Which so for me as a working professional, but I have noticed that there are good IT companies here. So I'm from software background. I think most of my audience, they know about this. But what I have found that uh, this city has less opportunities 
to offer as compared to other bigger cities. But if we talk about like as a software aspirant, we talk about some fang level companies, uh, not exactly the fang companies, but also some of the companies that are competing with those companies. Then it might be difficult for you to you know find those opportunities. I know that the company this uh, Halifax region is expanding. The startups have started coming here, so this city is in a growing phase. But if you are looking something uh, on the spot, like you come here and you are finding those opportunities, then I think it might be a challenge, right? Uh, well, I would echo Sahil's sentiment on this. Uh, however, the city is growing and we have a great startup culture. And uh, so apparently for me transitioning from a student to a professional journey, I found less challenging because of the apparently the less competition as we have less number of people. So and the IT companies are growing. And one of the latest trends which I have found in COVID, I mean, post COVID period is that the big fang companies especially are offering remote positions in Halifax. So it's a great opportunity and a trade off between, you know, uh, affordable cost of living versus the job. So Vinam, if we have to end our conversation, I want to end it like who should not consider the city? So what what do you have to say? Who should consider the city to move? I think uh, for someone, for prospective students, as well as professionals, those who are looking for a dynamic and uh, uh, and embrace embracing the Canadian culture, this city is the perfect mix. Whereas for those who are, you know, uh, limited to those cities, like bigger cities, and have their aspirations aligned to those cities, I believe this place is not meant for them. So, okay. yeah. so for, uh, I would like to add, like, if someone is planning to start something of their own, let's say if you are planning to open up your restaurant, some small business, or even maybe the tech startup, because government of North Scotia, they're helping a lot to uh, the startups to flourish here. So I think if someone wants to start something of their own, this is the perfect city to be. Uh, secondly, the students, as Vinamra has like repeatedly mentioned that this city is the one of the best student cities. So we have a lot of universities here that even the government is helping the students to you know settle here in Canada for and making some lenient rules in residency. So for students also, it's a very good city. And again, if someone is fond of enjoying the nightlife, that I think we haven't talked about that point, but this is also one of the major points. So I think nightlife, you'll find it a bit slow as compared to the other cities, which is for obvious reasons. Like it's a smaller city, so there are less number of restaurants and less number of clubs. And even on the weekends, like the things, they close pretty, pretty soon, right? So I think this is also the point to be considered. Yeah, I mean, as a, as a concluding remark, I would say as a student, we used to have this... Uh, saying that why do these uh, shops close so early during the weekends but then we realized that it, it's a way to promote work-life balance even for those employees so right. it, it's a it's a great thought and secondly uh, as Sahil mentioned so we have a Nova Scotia connector program which connects uh, prospective students to the prospective employers so it's kind of a program which makes you job ready to the students and it's free of cost so yeah so that's all for today's talk. I hope you guys have learned a lot from this video and we try to share our perspective like what are the good points of the city and what are the things that you might consider before moving to the city. And I think that's all from our side guys. So let, let us know in the comment section below how was the video and will you consider the city to move in future. And if you have any questions for me or Vinamur, you can mention them in the comment section below or I'll also mention Vinam's LinkedIn ID in, in the description so that you can directly connect with him and you know uh, share all your doubts here thanks a lot guys and thanks a lot number for helping me out thank you so much guys thank you